All right, back with another video for the Intel Compute Stick. This time we're doing some gaming. Uh, we're playing Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. It's an oldie but goodie, and I uh, wanted to show the performance of the Compute Stick at 720p. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the options here to show you what settings I'm, I'm using. So I have essentially the lowest form of lighting, static lighting. I have the minimum quality, quality settings, which is the lowest you can possibly go. Uh, resolution, again, is 720p. Um, everything in advance is just left as is. Um, I obviously could, could, could pretty much notch everything down here um, as far as the texture detail, the grass density, object detail, and vision distance, and, what, and whatnot. But I want to kind of see how it runs without touching any of this. So let's, um, let's just kind of see how it runs, and then we can obviously adjust those down needed uh, as needed. So uh, again, this is 720p. I'm playing with a kind of a garbage wireless mouse, so excuse the gameplay. But let's get the OSD enabled. And right now, we are around 30 frames per second. Seeing some, some spikes up to the 40s there. Uh, CPU usage is kind of odd. It's uh, single core heavily optimized. Well, I wouldn't say it's odd. This game came out when single core CPUs were kind of a, a common thing. So uh, seeing a single core optimized game like this is not that uncommon. GPU usage is, is kind of weird. It's, it's rather low. Um, it's only 53%, so, but the core itself, um, a GPU core that is, is running at 620 megahertz, so it's definitely getting all of it, it, it can get, um, on the, on the GPU side, so. As we were walking up there, I did notice it was going to, like, almost 60 frames per second. Yeah, as we're looking towards the sky, but as we, um. As we come here, it's going to start, um, you know, stabilizing prior on the 30 range. So this game is some really over-exaggerated head bob. You can get rid of that by using the uh, Stalker Complete. I believe it's called Complete. I can't remember. It's been a while since I played this game. Uh, the Complete mod will get rid of a lot of that head bob, if not all of it. So. There is some pausing here and there, uh, but RAM usage is uh, 1560, and the GPU memory usage is a little over 200. So. Right down, man. Let me fill you in. All right. Yeah, Wolf here sent us some support along with the order to attack. Time to move on and be heroes. Um, but the CPU usage is. Is obviously mostly single core optimized, and you can see there at the uh, the CPU is actually around about 1583 megahertz on all four cores, and the GPU is maxed out as well. If anybody hasn't played Stalker, I would definitely recommend it. It's uh, like I said, an oldie but goodie. This game has more atmosphere than most new games. And it's tough. It can get really tough. So we're still around 30 frames per second. Which is playable. Me good. I'm almost dead. I'm 
And you see here the frame rates are almost capped at 60 frames per second. And I don't have VSync enabled, as far as I know. Oops. No, it's not enabled. But the frequency only goes up to 60 hertz, I guess, so. Let's try dropping all this down, see how it runs. With all this set to super low. We're going to use that. And we're going to return to the game. I'm not really seeing a difference there. As far as frame rate is concerned, we're still at the 30 range. either. Ooh, game over for me. <laughs> this game is notoriously difficult, um, but it is an awesome game. So, as we kind of see here, the frame rate kind of sits in the 30 frames per second range pretty much the entire time. It kind of goes up a little bit to 60 on less um, strenuous scenes. And then sometimes it dips down to the 20s, but uh, it's actually very playable. Very playable at 720p. So I will uh, mark this off on my list as a playable game. And if anybody has any questions or comments um, about this game and the Compute Stick, just let me know in the comment section. Thanks for checking it out.